This is the Reflection and Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Welcome back to Fight Night for a hidden gem, so to speak. Back in 1992, there was a USBA Junior Featherweight Championship battle between the champion Kennedy McKinney and the challenger, former WBC Bantamweight Champion Paul Bonk. As I mentioned a long time ago, Bonk was defeated in the 1984 Olympic Trials by the eventual gold medalist Steve McCrory, while McKinney won the gold medal in 88. This was on the undercard of Tommy Hearns vs. Iran Barkley on March 20, 1992. McKinney was 20-0-1 going into the fight, while Bonk was 21-6 at the time. The conventional thinking was if McKinney were to win, he would earn himself a world title shot. If Bonk were to win, he'd put himself back into attention for a future title shot. So will McKinney defeat the former champ to keep his title, or will Bonk defeat the gold medalist? Let's find out. Michael Buffer. Oh, his eye looks swollen shut already. The fight hasn't even started yet. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's 24, I think. Wow, so I, I wasn't, I, was, <laughs> I actually noticed it first. So his, his eye is still swollen from his last fight. <laughs> He's getting right back in there. Ah, Richard Steele, the referee. So Banky is the shorter of the two. They're falling out of the room. So Banky's going to come in early. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a battle of the Olympians going. Well, sort of. Banky, banky, banky. Here's the poster for this. Thank you. 
So this was the undercard of Hearns Barkley too. Ding ding in the round one. Round two, fight. Twelve rounds. Oh. Yeah, so Banky was denied. <laughs> he was denied a chance at the 84 Olympics by Steve McCrory, and McKinney went on to win the 88 gold medal. And now we're going to fight. <laughs> I know, he went into the fight with a swollen eye. He backed him into the corner, but McKinney's the one who's the aggressor. Pop, pop, pop. He just keeps landing with that jab. Right there. Yeah, see, that's when he's got a superior advantage, that's what you got to do. He comes inside and let him have it. He's having a hard time because he can't get inside. Quick pivots. <laughs> and down he goes. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, oh saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. Mm. You gotta keep your head moving. Uh, yeah, so there's a knockdown. Big right hook. Right. Round three, fight. Budweiser. Blood wise. He's trying to get inside now. Mm. 
I'm finding on eight. Oh, what was that? Bonky just fell down. Oh, I just missed with the left. Yeah, that knockdown earlier, that, that shook him up. Now McKinney's got him up against the ropes and throws. McKinney's just going to work on the body right now. You guys are the same weight. It looks like a flyweight going against a lightweight. This doesn't work. Ding ding. Four down, eight to go. All right, the scorecard. Well, right now I have it way ahead for McKinney, and I really think that Richard Steele should be looking to stop this. It's very one sided. There's no chance of making it. They're saying that the ref should stop the fight. Banky has no chance in that one. <laughs> Here we go to round four. Banky has only landed eight punches the whole round, the whole fight. He, he went into the fight against the guy with his eyes swollen shut already. And he only landed eight punches. That's badass in McKinney saying, you know what? I'm going to control this fight. All right, Banky's starting to fight back. But McKinney goes right back on the attack. Wow. Banky woke up. Oh, he landed some shots. That's more like it. There you go. Oh, he knocked the mouthpiece out. Banky rallying in the fourth round. <laughs> he woke up. <laughs> Better late than never. Now they got to put the mouthpiece. Really, he's really in this uh, in this round altogether. 
Ding ding in the round four. Paul Banky rally. Ding ding round five. See if you can keep up the momentum. And I'm a Yeah, but Bikini started to jab him again. His right eye's not too, looking too good either. And he's still landing shots. Banky with a. Well, McKinney took for the fight back, that's for sure. <laughs> he hit Richard Sneaky if I act. All right, rounds. Next round. Knockdown in the second round. Can he put down back into the right? Oh, 
Uh-oh, McKinney's got Banky right where he wants him. You can hear the sound of that cop being hit, the protective cop from Kenny McKinney with that left uppercut. The bad oh, one in the back. Every time he goes over, he's going to be in huge trouble. Yeah, Banky's trying to like talk his way into this fight, but <laughs> McKinney's like, no, you, you're bleeding out of almost every orphan. And then down he goes. Big right hand, down goes Banky. What was that? Yep. Yeah. Yep. The doctor wants to stop it. No, he just took too much punishment. That's it. He took similar beatings in the third and the sixth. And finally, Richard Steele said that was enough. Looked at him closely and called it off. And, and that really goes back to what we were talking about earlier, being the pressure of guys McKinney came over this fight. Banky has just been in too many wars, and I think they've really caught up to him. And I, and I hope he hangs him up after this one because he gave him one more shot against a, a top rated contender. That's obviously up. And change another guard, too. So Banky's lost three straight fights, and they're telling them to hang it up. Now, meanwhile, McKinney he came into the fight with his eyes swollen shut already, <laughs> and he still knocked him around. So that that's impressive right there. So uh, let, let's shut this off. All right. Okay, well, that was the beginning of the end for Banky. He'd have just two pro fights left before he retired in 1993. Meanwhile, McKinney would go on to fight for the IBF Bantamweight title, but that's a story for another time. It was fun to watch two former U.S. amateurs go out for a pseudo number one contenders match. So it was definitely clear that Banky was all done. You know, time catches up with everyone. It's unfortunate. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.